Okay. This is the first time that I will be solving an actual board exam problem. And uh, mm, purpose then is to give an idea, especially as a automatic board exam. Na dilikiting na nakalisod ang problem sa board exam. Okay. So I'll be solving two problems sa plain trigonometry. Okay. So basic lang na eh. And ang shortcut, uh, malar na nakadugay. So first problem is Seaboard November 2016. And here's the problem. Find the height of a tree if the angle of elevation of its top changes from 20 degrees to 40 degrees as the observer advances 75 feet toward its base. So, suppose money and tree and na observe that eh oh um di alang ah di disagree na to ang height sa observer eh wala mo ko di hatas sa problem so ana lang and then ma move siya ah ma bocce de na point na ang angle of elevation sa top is 40 degrees. So, ni-travel siya o 75 feet. And what is as is ang height sa tree. Okay. So, I will show two solutions. So, um, so, the first method or the first solution is I will consider an oblique triangle. This one, no? oblique triangle. Triangle na wala 90 degrees. Okay. No right angle ba? So I'm going to draw the oblique triangle. Mone siya 20, 75. And then to solve for each, the upper line, and then also this one. Then ako 40 degrees. So para ma-analyze na to, let's assign a variable of the distance of the observer Paying on the base now. Let's denote it as x. So x and a. And then to solve for h, we di kamo solve log x. Pero since no oblique triangle ta, direct kamo solve. Kini na distance. Ato denote na siya as d. Okay. So for the oblique triangle, analyze na to. I solve for d. Then after solving for d. Consider the right triangle, we can solve for each. So, ang una is find this angle. Makuha na to na kay given mo 40. So, this angle is 180 minus 40 or 140. After this, consider ni mong triangle, given two angles, masolve ni mo ni third angle. You have 20. So, initially, ang consideration na to ani, Scalene lang. Eh, nga oblique. Oh, but then by inspection, it turned out na ang doka angles equal. So therefore, I saw still this. So by inspection, D is equal to 75. Pero for general consideration, uh, D is solved using sine law. So, sine law ka. D over sine 20 equals and uh, uh, for other problems, mga dili I should see this ang result. Inani siya. After solving for D, consider this right triangle and use trigonometric function. Dayon. With angle 40 degrees and then opposite hypotenuse, you will use sine. So H is equal to D sine 40. And it's equal to 48.21 feet. Uh, Mone ang one. Mone ang process kung oblique triangle yung mong consider. The second one is kung right triangles. And kita na to this figure na doon ka right triangle. Kine. And then this one. 
So, i-draw na na to. First triangle is kining 20. So, naka-adjust inside na 75 plus x in the opposite side na h. And then the other one, 40. So, let's use trigonometric functions. And since given ang duha ka legs, then we will use tangent. Tangent of 20 opposite over adjacent. For the other triangle, tangent of 40 each over x. And then after this, you cross multiply, we solve for each. And also for the other triangle. And then you compare na to. Compare na to under each. And then we have this. And then using your calculator, if capable, you must solve. Okay, there are input lang eh. And then shift solve. And naka x na 57.4532. After solving for x, pwede naman substitute. Bisa nasa ang doa. 1 or 2. And by substitution, h equals 48.21. So, if we can counter mo problem similar ane, eh, you have the option to consider an oblique triangle or you consider a right triangle. So, depende na sa mo asa ka comfortable mo gamit. Oh, okay. So, importante na masabta ni mo because there are cases also na height na given ano ne? Eh, ano ang hindi na distance or this one or the angle. O, oh, so importante sa ito ni mo ang, ang idea ni na problem. Okay. The other one is this one. A swimmer is capable of swimming 0.45 meters per second in still water. If she aims her body directly across a 75 meter wide river whose current is 0.4 meters per second, how far downstream, referred from a point opposite her starting point, will she land? So suppose this is the river and it's 75 meters wide. So naka swimmer na mo swim siya uh, directly across the river. Uh, on sa opposite side. So initially, money yung direction. Pero kay na may current going this way, for example, so ang resulta, Muna na yung direction din. Okay. And muna ito pangitaw, D. How far downstream this distance referred from this point na dito siya what? Dito siya paingo na. Will she land? Okay. So starting there eh. Dito siya paingo na. Okay. Okay, so how to solve for D? And then we will use the velocity. So, uh, i-plot na to. So, ang swimmer na siya velocity na 0.45 meters per second. And then I current na 0.4. And then the resultant vector is mo ng one. Most of the direction sa swimmer. So to solve for D, we will use ratio and proportion like D over 75 equals 0.4 over 0.45. And so D equals 66.67 meters. <clears throat> so this problem is very easy. So kung familiar na ka, you may not draw this one. Enough can I draw a river and ditch na ka ni ratio and proportion. Kana kung familiar na ka. Oh, okay. Importante mo nang tama sa board exam. Okay. So, sample lang isa. Kinaling ako. Okay. Animate, animate. So, I hope na naman na-learn ganun. Thank you.